all right guys we are back here in detroit so what we are looking at here is we are at free agent negotiations so we do have exclusive free agents to work with we're not going to rebrand the team we're not changing up the tigers but let's go ahead and see so we don't have much to work with now miguel cabrera unfortunately i'm going to let him drop the free agency he just doesn't have the numbers anymore uh realistically he should retire anyways uh chasing shreve i'm probably gonna let drop with a d potential i'm not really worried about that now just so i know where is the age here so age 33 yeah we're not touching him caesar hernandez 33 not touching him matt weisler whistler 31 not touching him and then scope realistically we'll have to look at our depth chart for second base to see if maybe we just want to bring him back for like another year um but I think Lorenzen is definitely someone we bring back. Now let's see, what does he want? He wants eight mil a year. Uh, we still, it looks like 132 mil in cap space. So realistically, we should be good. I don't want to sign him for five years. I'm looking for like, uh, I don't even, I don't want to even want to sign him for that much. I mean, 10 mil. I could realistically just sign him for this year, this coming year. Give him the money that he wants. Let's see. So, I mean, he's not happy with team quality. Uh, neither am I. Uh, so, rotation is going to be normal. Payout structure. So, I mean, would I be able to get him at, like, I could sign him for maybe, like, 12 mil for one year. Because I know I'm not going to, there's I'm not going to be able to sign every free agent possible. So, someone something like a 12 mil for one year probably wouldn't be bad uh let's see make offer contract offered okay and then let's go ahead and go look at the depth chart for second base uh let's see depth chart second base yeah i mean we're looking at zach short being our next be next best guy so we're definitely not gonna do that yeah we got a lot to do here in this next season okay so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna rely on torque being up in the mlb next year uh, we'll probably grab Scope back. We're going to use Jackson Holiday, Cabrian Hayes. Uh, we'll probably use Kerry Carpenter here, but then Akil Badu as the starter and center, and then Riley Green. So if we bring back Scope, that allows us... Is there any way to look at pending free agents? Uh, pending free agents, pending free agents. Um... I don't know if there's a way to look at that. Depth chart lineup switching into transaction. No, nothing there. May trade, view trade block, update trade block, player search, player contracts. No. So there's no way to look at pending free agents. So I don't know if there's even going to be a good second baseman in free agency. So realistically, we're going to go ahead and offer scope a contract as well. I don't want to do a long one. I don't want to do five years. We're going to do, I'm fine with... I'm fine with a one year on him. Let's just get him to a spot where he is going to be every day. Because right here at platoon. So platoon to every day. He is more interested in every day. So I'm good with that. We can put him as an everyday player. Probably not going to be good this year. This is a very deep rebuild that we have to do. So looking for 4.8. We'll go ahead and get him to that same spot that I get everybody else to. Which is going to be yeah about right there. So we'll do 5.3 for one year. That's fine with me. So we can go ahead and make that offer. Other than that, Whistler, Hernandez, Shreve, and Cabrera are not getting signed. Um, realistically, I mean, I can go ahead and sign Whistler. These three, I'm definitely not going to Whistler just so that I have that roster player. He's looking for 1.9 a year. He's already 31. I would like to give him... I would like to keep these kind of guys on one year's. So realistically, I could probably get him at a one year at like 880K. We'll go ahead and offer that. He's going to be a Mud Hens relief pitcher for his whole career. So not really worried about that. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and back out. Now, is there any way that I can just advance one day at a time and see if these guys sign? Let's see. Sim through date. Sim through date. So how do I know? Oh, exclusive free agent notification. So it's just going to go into free agency. Right? Or can they re-sign before that? Deadline is November 9th. Uh, you know what? So, I mean, if they don't sign, they don't 
Today's the last day of qu tender qualifying offer. Uh, no, we don't need to stop simulating. Okay, so best players you could lose in the Rule 5 draft. Anybody that we need. So let's select the 40-man roster here. So where's our 40-man? Okay. So realistic, or you know what? Is there, can we, we can't check who is on 40 or like who isn't on 40-man. So let's just sort by potential here. Now we have Mize, Scooble, Riley Green, and Torkelson. We have, okay, so on the 40, man. So let's just see. Best players I could lose, realistically. Is that just by overall? Or is that by... Um, so this is my thing, is I'm not, I, I'm not 100% sure what goes into like i'm not sure what arbitration means what salary arbitration actually means give me a second i'm gonna look it up see if i can familiarize myself with it okay so we're back now arbitration apparently is just we can adjust people's salaries if we have to so let's see uh players are arbitration eligible if they have between three to six years of mlb service time or they're in the top 22 percent of players with at least two but less than three years of mlb service time if an arbitration eligible player and a club cannot agree on the salary figure, both can opt for a neutral party to help find a solution. To do so, the club and the player submit their desired salary figures to a group of arbitrators who will review each figure carefully. Okay. Okay, so realistically, I'm cool with... I'm cool with all these guys getting the salary that they were actually getting. I don't think there's... Let me just... We're going to do this. Contract. Uh, so do I have to offer them and they like drop the free agency or something? No, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so... Now here's what I'm wondering. So let's just go through and go all. Sort by potential. So we're looking at Jackson Holiday. He's not on the 40, man, but I don't think we can lose him in the Rule 5. So now I also have to go in who is eligible for Rule 5 draft. Let's see. Players are eligible for, for selection if they are not on their Major League Organization's 40-man roster and were 18 or younger on June 5th preceding their signing. and were 18 or younger on the june 5th preceding their signing and this is the fifth rule five draft upcoming i'm so confused but i mean it shows best player so is there any way i can like oh man okay go ahead and sort by potential again now is there any way i can check and see like eligible for rule five draft no Perfect. Okay, cool. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see. What about this guy? Jace Jung. Is he eligible for Rule 5 draft? I don't want him to be. No. Perfect. Okay. What about... No, Alex Lang definitely won't be. We got to look for younger players, I think, because all these guys... Well, no, age 28. Hmm. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at here. Uh, okay, is there like an option, like Rule 5 eligible anywhere in here? No, so you can't just check Rule 5 eligible. Okay, so we're going to scroll through this really quickly. I'm just going to scroll through contract cycle players, see anyone who might be Rule 5 eligible. Let's see. Not, not, nope, nope. Uh, Jace Jung we know isn't. Matt Manning, no. Gary Carpenter, no. 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 I do, no. Okay, I actually think we're good then, because now we're down to the Bs, so Cs, I mean. And best players you could lose all potential is C or lower apparently and or overall is much lower than that so I think we're good I don't think I need to do well that's previous salary so are these guys 
Okay, one. So let's just look. So is Eric Haas in free agency? Let's go check. So catchers. Uh, Eric Haas is not in free agency. So I'm fine with him keeping that salary. Okay. I think we're good. Tigers pending offers. So now how do I look at... Let's go budget. Our player salary budget is only at 46 mil. So we have available budget of $145 million to spend on people. Uh, no, we don't want to exit. Okay. So realistically... We would want young guys because we have a young core. Shohei Otani is an interesting. That would be an insane player to grab up. He's 29 already. Aaron Nola is 30. Julio Arias. Clayton Kershaw's too old. We're not. He and they all had qualifying offered made offers made. Let's see. So Teoscar Hernandez. I wonder if there's a way. No, we can't sort by age, unfortunately. Well, Michael Lorenzen is here. Contract offered. Oh, okay. So we have them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Matt Whistler's here. Oh, okay. Now I get it. All right. So let's see. Someone like Jose Alvarado is someone we could target. He's 28. We could get him for another. Jordan Hicks is someone we could target. I would rather go off of, after Jose Alvarado. He didn't have a great year last year with Phillies. Hmm, so all these guys are qualified. Interesting. Okay, so... Let's see, so like, Blake Trennan? Trennan? 35, I don't really want that, that's too old. We have Alex Lang already. We have Eric Haas. So this right here, he's got no offers, CJ Crone. I mean, he's 34. He would improve the team just for this year. Because we don't really are we're using torque. Uh second base. Hopefully we can get scope back. If not, realistically, we could go after Colton Wong or Adam Frazier. Uh third base. Pretty sure we traded for yeah, we have Cabrian Hayes. Shortstop we're using Jackson Holiday. So realistically, I mean I think it would just be starting pitchers and relief pitchers. So let's see here. Anyone with no offers. So like Luis Severino. I could go after Severino. He was 19 and 4. So he was definitely a good pitcher. Now, what does he want, though? He wants five years. Could I give him, like. Because this is a guy I could keep. Let's give him, like, four years. Hmm. Let's see. Could I give him. Realistically, I mean. I uh, yeah, I could probably do. I'll probably do three. Three would look good. All right, three. We have the money to pay him, so let's go ahead and give him like three by sixteen. I'm thinking. So three at forty eight. That looks good. Roll ace makes the most sense. Option player. That's fine. Payout structure. We're gonna do backloaded again. So let's go ahead and make that offer. Trying to load up our starting staff. What about, so anybody else in here with no offers? They have no interest in, Blake Snell has no interest in going back to the Padres. He's 31. <laughs> he had a decent season last year. Let's go ahead and try to make that offer as well. We're going to try on the same three year at 48. We're going to try that. Right, same three year at 48. Roll is just gonna be rotation. Yeah, he doesn't quite like that. Maybe we can give a little give him a little more money. Like three at three at 18 per. We can afford it. We don't have any cap space tied up now. Uh three at 18 per. He wants the ace roll. We're not gonna give it to him. He's really happy with that money. Let's see. Can we take him down to like 17 per? We're gonna offer it at at 17 per we're gonna offer it that way he likes ours a lot more okay so let's see we have so that'll be lorenzen snell severino okay i don't think we're gonna go after any more because we still want like manning and mize to get some to get some time in so i think we're good here let's go ahead now how do i know when 
people sign or not. Phillies are interested in offering a trade. Sure, I mean, we can view it. Uh, Troy Melton on our side for Castellanos? We get Nick Castellanos back. They want Troy Melton, so what, they want to clear up salary? Yeah, it's not a bad trade. Where's Castellanos? Oh, he's only 77 overall? Yeah, no, they're just trying to... Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Decline that. All right, let's go ahead and sim through date. Now, here's my thing is I don't know when people get signed. Okay, so it doesn't... It doesn't notify us when people get signed, which kind of sucks. So right now, let's go back to depth chart. Um, it says Blake Snell signed on eleven ten, so two days ago. You just really don't get those notifications. Oh, um. Is there any way signings maybe? Uh, yeah, there's no like notification button, so we just don't know. Okay, so yeah, we have Blake Snell there. Okay. That's a really unfortunate thing is that you don't get notified if you actually sign people, so you don't know if they go to someone else or not. So you don't know when you have to Okay, so can we sort by just like people we've approached? Uh, we know Luis Severino is there. Uh, we know... Who else have we even approached? I don't remember. Um, so tough, man. Yeah, there's a lot of things they could do better here. Severino we approached. And then Lorenzen is ours already. So we didn't get one of them, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that it doesn't tell us, but let's go ahead and just sim through date. And realistically, I know we're not going to be a great team this year. So if we don't get that other guy, we still have our pitchers. So let's go ahead and just sim to free agency two. Uh, would you like to stop simulating? No, we have our 40 man good. Okay. Come to free agency three. It was Luis Severino. No, I don't see. Is he still in here somewhere? Yeah, he's still right there. We're the only team to offer him a contract still. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, Twins sign Shohei. Okay. Tigers get Luis Severino. Nice. Okay. Uh, not offered, they will be... Oh, oh yeah, apparently, okay. I have to offer them arbitration. Okay, we definitely want to keep these guys. So, uh, let's see, Luis Patino, 24. We definitely want him back with that B potential. Okay, so Matt Manning, make an offer. So he wants 5.5 a year. For five years. That sounds good to me. Yeah, we can go ahead and make that offer. All right, Eric Haas. He only wants 2.4 a year. We'll give him like three a year. I think he's worth three a year. Let's go ahead and give him three a year. That's good with me. So we have two offered. Luis Patino, we definitely want back. We can go ahead and give him, yeah, 2.6 a year is good. Darwin's on Hernandez. All right, let's go ahead and give him two a year maybe. Yeah, that's okay. All right, Jake Rogers. So someone like Tyler Alexander, we're not going to bother bringing back. I mean, 29 with C potential. He's probably not going to grow anymore. Um, But I mean, that just makes more work for me to have to re-sign for someone that's kind of going to be about the same thing or spend more money. So we'll go ahead and get all these guys re-signed. I have the money for it. All right, and we can move them if we need to clear up cap space, but I don't see a reason why we'd have to right now. Uh, we'll go, yeah, two, uh, two a year as well. That's fine with me. All right, everyone is max interested in ex ex except for Manning. Now, let's see here. So, 
tender contracts these players are under team control because they don't qualify for arbitration yet if these players are not tender they'd be a contract by december 2nd then they become free agency uh you can still it for no less than 80 percent of their previous salary so a contract renewable let's see here so carrie carpenter we can go ahead and give him two a year as well that's good with me all right so is there anyone here we're really concerned about first? Hmm. No one we're truly concerned about first. Okay, so... So when it says contract renewable, is there any way I can know what the renewed is? All right, you know what? It looks like these guys are all going to be cheap. Yeah, they're all going to be cheap, so let's just spam through this really quick. All right. Uh, okay. Pretty cheap. There we go. Let's get these guys back so we don't have to worry about uh, people being filled in for lower class teams. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's We still have a lot of money to work with. Bryant Packard, all right. Steel Walker, Daniel Cabrera. Just getting all these guys under contract. That's fine. I'm fine to give him a little bit. 870, Alex Fiedo, that's fine. De La Rosa, we can go ahead and get Jordan Beck. All right, so it looks like there's a lot of these guys. I'll go ahead and get through this and we'll come back when it's all done. All right, so we are back, and I've got all these guys offered a contract. So we're all good there. Now, let's see. What else do we have to do? Uh, looks like, honestly, did I not offer these guys? Yeah, I did offer. Okay, so we're good there. We got contracts tendered, so we're good there. Okay, I think we're all good to get up here. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and send to free agency four. Josh Hader went to the Athletics. Matt Chapman went to the Angels. Uh, okay. So now let's see. Okay, none. Okay, none and none. So we're good there. Now let's just go look at. We can skip all those guys. Just go look at budget really quick. So our Project our player salaries is at 115. We still have 76 million in available in available salary. Okay, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and just sort here. And we've got some other top end players for this year. Okay, so we're looking a lot better. Now let's go ahead and go to lineups, not lineups. Let's go ahead and go to depth chart. Okay, that'll all get filled out better. Now we still have money. So realistically, I mean, we could go look for a better second baseman. What about Akil Badu? Nah, he's still got that B potential, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, B potential, age 25, he could still go up. Kerry Carpenter, 26 B potential, he can still go up. Cabrian Hayes is all right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move Zach Short up when... Or not Zach Short, uh, Jackson Holiday up at Short when we start the season. Torque is going to be our starting first baseman. So I think we're all good. Yeah, realistically, I think we're all good. Now, what I am going to do is because injuries were crazy. We're going to go to the sliders again. And we're going to look at that injury. We're going to turn it down even a little bit more because it was pretty crazy. We're going to go to here. Cancel. So confirm. Okay. No, we don't need to save the settings as like a preset, right? So it'll still keep it here. Yep, it kept it there. Okay, so we're good. All right. I think that is pretty much all we're going to do for this year. Teoscar Hernandez, sign to the Cubs. All right. Sim to winter meetings. Let's go ahead and get there. Clayton Kershaw, sign to the Angels. All right, so nothing we got to do here. So sim to the Rule 5 draft. Julio Arias went to the Reds. All right, rule five draft here. So, uh, no. 
Uh, go to draft. All right. So, what are we looking at? We got the seventh overall pick in the rule five. Okay. Let's go ahead and get in here. So, they just selected nobody. All right. So, is there anyone that we want to pick? Hmm. I really don't think so. I mean, we got some B potentials here who wouldn't be bad to just try to grab up like this Kyle Manzardo. He might turn into something. He's playing for the Biscuits right now. Hmm. Jose Ramos. You know, what? we're going to take Jose Ramos, but then I don't think there's anyone else that we're really going to take. Let's go ahead and skip selection. Yep, that's fine. Simulate the rest of the draft. There we go. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So let's go ahead and sim to arbitration hearings. Got to get used to all this off-season stuff that happens. Aaron Nola went to the Red Sox. I'm actually kind of happy that Michael Lorenzen didn't sign. I am actually kind of happy with that. We don't have any arbitration negotiations going on, so we're good there. Uh, sim to renewable contracts. All right, so who can we renew? Uh, no players found. All right, so we're still good. Sim to spring training. All right, we're here. All right, we Oh, uh, yes, we need to hire coaches. Forgot about that. All right. Uh, let's go to coach contracts. Uh, let's go to hire a manager. All right. Oh, all right. Um, bunting would be fine. So Steven Ross looks decent for now. Um, bunting hits per nine and reaction. Plate vision home runs per nine and arm accuracy. Play vision stealing durability. Hmm. And I'm good with Tommy Hadavi. Here we go. All right. So what budget? All right. Yeah, we got. We're good. We got budget for days. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and offer him. We're gonna offer him twelve. There we go. Make that offer. All right. We're the only team offering him as well. So, all right. Let's get to spring training. And he accepted. All right. So he's our head coach. The last day to renew contracts for unsigned players. Let's just see. Uh, nope. We're all good. So let's go ahead and get to spring training. All right. So we are here now. We do need to take a look at. So we can do extensions. We're going to wait on that. Let's go ahead and clear this off. We're good there. And then we have player search. Yep, that's fine. We don't need to do that. All right, so depth chart here. Now, what I am concerned about... Okay, so is there any way that I can grab these guys? So, like... Hmm. Roster. So it shows Blake Snell on the MLB roster. Let's just go starting pitchers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you know what? We're going to get to the regular season and do it that way instead because I know it does it. It's, it does it itself at that point. All right, so we're up here at the regular season. Now let's go look at depth chart. Okay, Severino, Scooble, Snell, Turnbull, Mize. Okay, that looks a lot better. We got, okay, is there any way we can affect this now? Can we adjust our depth chart? Because I don't want Zach Short getting starting time over Jackson Holiday. Oh, it's because Holiday's not up in the MLB. Okay. So Jackson Holiday, we need up in the MLB. Let's go ahead and move to MLB. Not currently on 40 man. We do have room. Wait, do we have room on the 40 man? We do. We have one spot. So let's add to 40 man. Yep. Let's go ahead and bring him up to the MLB. There we go. All right. He's our starter. So we have too many players on our active roster. Um, 
let's see we don't need that many starting pitchers so do we have a starting pitcher like eduardo rodriguez that we can move to triple a hmm here's the thing is if we release him we still have to pay him so i'd rather not do that now we could even move him to double a eduardo rodriguez that is uh move to double a Yep, one of my minor league options. That's fine. All right. So now one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Realistically, I mean, I'd rather have Mize playing over Turnbull. So Turnbull, we're going to go to AAA. All right. So there we go. So we have the 40 man. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to take care of something. So, double A has too many players. So, let's see. Can I just get to double A roster? All right. Who's the worst player on this team? All right. Uh, yep. You're going to class A. Yep. There we go. Okay. So, is there anyone else we need up in the MLB? Let's see. So, we know. Let's go ahead and sort this. There we go. Okay, our starting rotation looks a lot better. Relief pitchers. Anyone down here we want to bring up? Thomas Wilkes. I mean, 68 overall. Do we have a guy that we should bring up over him? I mean, yeah, he, he would perform better in the MLB than some of these guys. So let's go ahead and bring this guy up to the MLB. Uh, Well, let's check first. Alex Lang is closer. That's all good. Torkelson MLB, so we're good there. Scope MLB, we're good there. Cabrian Hayes, we're good. Jackson Holiday, we're good. Akil Badu and Kerry Carpenter. Tyler O'Neill, Riley Green. We got a lot of guys here. Okay, so we're probably going to run Kerry Carpenter, Tyler O'Neill, Riley Green. And then Akil Badu can go ahead and be a backup. So yeah, we have six outfielders. So then Parker Meadows and Jose Ramos are also backups. Okay, so realistically, yeah, we can go add that relief pitcher to the MLB roster. Where is he? Right here. Thomas Wilkes. Boom. Move to MLB. Oh, we need to add him to the 40-man first. There we go. Tigers have a full 40 man. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, so let's see. 40 man. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll all the way down here. Who's on the 40 man that doesn't... Oh, there's so many on the 40 man that don't need to be. Uh, okay, let's start down here. This guy, Zach Hess, does not need to be on the 40 man. Uh, remove. That's fine. Irrevocable waivers. That's fine with me. Uh, this guy is also fine to be removed. Uh, Edwin Uceta is fine to be removed. Okay, so now... Thomas Wilkes. That's who we want to bring up. So let's go ahead and get Thomas Wilkes added to 40 man. And let's go ahead and get him in the MLB here. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and sort here. You talking to me? Okay. Sorry about that. We are back. Had to take care of something really quick. So I think we are all good here. Uh, let's see. We've got everything we need there. We're good there. We got Haas, Torkelson, Scope. Hayes, Jackson Holiday, and then we're going to start Kerry Carpenter, O'Neal, and Green. So we should be a little bit of a better team this year. Now, we are up here at the regular season, so let's go ahead and adjust lineups. So realistically, right now, short, shortstop is not going to be Zach Short. It's going to be Jackson Holiday. Torque, Scope, O'Neal, Carpenter, Haas, Hayes, Green, Badu. Okay, no one in here that we for sure want to get in, right? Nope, we're good there. Okay. So let's see. 
Now, Riley Green and Jackson Holiday. So they're not great against righties. Jackson Holiday isn't great at hitting in general. So realistic, I mean, well, he's better than him. So yeah, we're just going to get Jackson Holiday in there completely. Uh, let's see. So Akil Badu is decent against righties. He's not. Okay. So with no DH, Riley Green is going to sit. Left-handed pitchers. Let's see here. So Tyler Nevin at first. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Torque isn't very great against lefties. Let's see. Uh, anybody else? Jose Ramos, 6441. Is there anyone else we would for sure want to get in there? Maybe Torque? Yeah, let's go ahead and get Torque in there at DH. All right. Now we have Zach Short instead of Holiday. That's okay. They can split time this year. Uh, 6441 on Ramos, but Carpenter is in. Riley Green, who's definitely going to be in, and then Tyler O'Neill, who's definitely going to be in. Okay, I'm good with that. Now, all we got to do is let's go ahead and Brian Hayes is going to go ahead and lead off. Riley Green second looks good. Tyler O'Neill and Herrick Haas, let's go like that instead. Scope is good against lefties, and then yeah, I'm fine with them. That being the finals. Okay, so we got all of our lineups taken care of. Pitching rotation. Uh, Thomas Wilkes, you are getting moved for Matt Manning. There we go. Wilkes, you have 28 stamina. Uh, let's go ahead and move Roni Garcia up here. All right, so our relief staff is definitely still a weakness, but we still have weaknesses in a lot of places. Not much we can do about it right now. So scouting is on auto. That's fine. Do we have any, let's see, so contracts, scouts. We still have a lot of scouts, so we're good here. Okay. Oh, no, those are available scouts. Okay, so Doug Early. Let's see, here we, let's see here. Who could we grab up? We could definitely grab, grab up George Tippett. Or Daniel Robles. Hmm. Let's go and do Daniel Robles for Doug Early. There we go. All right. Do we want to grab up like anyone different than Kyle Forrest? 5'5". Five, five. I mean, this would be the only guy we could really do. Nope, Kyle Forrest is fine. All right, I'm good with that. Okay, so realistically, now we're just running through this season. Let's see. Um... All right, active replay, better walk up. We have an A6 sponsorship, but I'm not worried about that. Okay, so I think we're good here. So let's just go ahead and get through. Obviously, March doesn't count. Let's go ahead and get through the first month and see how this team is doing. Uh, auto fix pitching staff, auto fix lineups for the Mud Hens. Blake Snell is injured, so let's just auto that. No longer injured. Auto utilized. Perfect. Okay, so I just want to make sure we start off four and three. What I do want to make sure is we want to go to depth chart. Or no, we want to go to lineups, pitching rotation. Got to learn all this. Blake Snell is back in there. Okay, so they left him as a reliever. That's good. Contract coaches. All right, I'm not worried about that. All right, four and three start. It could be better, it could be worse. Let's keep getting, let's go ahead and get through this first month here. Three, not the win. All right. Six and seven, six and eight, seven and eight, seven and nine, seven and ten. All right. Let's see here. Scooble not doing so hot this year. Matt Manning's doing all right. Mize is doing all right. Jackson Holiday is injured. That's okay. He'll come back. Auto utilize Holiday. There we go. Just make sure he's in our lineups. Jackson Holiday. Spencer Torkelson is on fire. He's at 253, though. Akil Badu hasn't done anything yet. Okay, let's see. It should be back where he... Everything should be back where it was. Yeah, we should be good here. Okay, so I mean... 
Tyler Nevin's batting 333, only 48 at bats, so he's not a full time guy. So Tyler Nevin, yeah, in against lefties makes sense. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and get through this first month. Let's just go ahead and do it. So we got to, oh, we are through it. Okay. So uh, training, I'm leaving it on auto. That's fine. Roster. Uh, it's, we're just going to skip all that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get through the statistics here. So player stats, let's go ahead and start with pitchers. Uh, we have a four and O Blake Snell, who's pitching very great. Uh, Scooble is really dropping the ball for us. Now Severino also had an 87 being our biggest sign being two and four so far. Isn't great, but Mize and Manning are doing their job. They're three and two, both with great ERAs, decent whips, and Blake Snell is also doing his job. So we're good there. Now, Scoobal and Severino definitely are not doing their job. I mean, Severino, what, is he just giving up home runs or something? Home runs allowed six, so he's there at the most out of, all, out of our team. So that's probably why that should fix itself. What's his homers per nine? Uh, he does give up some homers. Hopefully that'll fix itself. Uh, relief pitchers, Jason Foley. I mean, he's a 67 overall, so what do you expect? Other than that... Roni Garcia is pitching amazing. 20 innings with a .45 ERA. That's unreal. Uh, so it's Thomas Wilkes and Jason Foley. So those are the guys we're worried about. Uh, go ahead and go to closers. He's doing just fine. He's got nine saves and in 8.2 innings. He's doing good. Uh, Eric Haas is doing about what I would expect him to. He's only got two homers. I would like to see a little more out of him with that power stat, but that's okay. Torkelson's on a hot streak, batting 250. Nevin behind him at 333. That's a pretty good duo right there. And Nevin has six home runs in 16 games. Interesting. Uh, scope only at 206. That should jump a little bit. Key Brian Hayes, 277. That's decent. 288 for Jackson Holiday. That's what I like to see. He's coming up. All right, left fielders Kerry Carpenter at 240. Riley Green at 250. Tyler O'Neill at 277. And then, obviously, we don't have a right fielder because we're putting our other guys in that outfield. Okay, so we're at 16-14. We are five and a half games back from first place. The Guardians are at 21-8. and eight. They're a decent team. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just get through one more month, see how it goes, and we'll go from there, see if there's any trades we want to make. I don't think there is. I think we're hoping that our young team comes up here. Not trying to win this year. We're trying to build around the, the young core that we have in in Casey Mize and Matt Manning and Tarek Skubal and Spencer Torkelson and Jackson Holiday and and all those kind of guys. Yeah, we're on a bit of a losing streak here. We get back on a two game win, two followed by two losses, by two wins, three wins. All right, so we are three games under five hundred now. We were two over. Now we're three under. We're still seven and a half back. Not too bad. Let's see here. So we're not going to look in there. We're going to go back to stats, player stats. So let's see. Starting pitchers. Derek Scooble is still struggling. His ERA has come down a little bit, but he's still struggling. Blake Snell's hot. Matt Manning is up there. Luis Severino. He's got a good ERA. He's just not getting he's just not getting run support now. So he picked his stuff back up. Uh, relief pitchers have all evened out a bit now that above four is still pretty concerning for three of them alexander's doing great Ronnie garcia is still doing great so they're getting a majority of the innings uh he's got 14 saves a win in 18 innings how many blown he's got two blown but with 14 it's all right eric haas has dropped to 222 so that's a little unfortunate he's also dropped to a 75 overall torkelson grew to a 68 he's only at 193 though tyler nevin's still doing pretty good uh, Jonathan Scope is picking it up a little bit. He's up to 251. Cabrian Hayes is dropping. He's at 242. Jackson Holiday is coming back down to earth at 258. Kerry Carpenter still can't get it going. Akil Badu can't get it going. Uh, Riley Green can't. And Tyler O'Neill is apparently on the way up. Jose Ramos has played 15 games, batting 327. Not too bad. So obviously, we know our team still isn't a world series contender we do know that but i think we definitely have some pieces to work with here i think we're going to see a lot of growth after this year i think next year is going to be probably about a 500 season if not this year so i'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want me to do any players you would like to see traded and or brought in someone who you think would be a good fit for the squad uh yeah just let me know down in the comments and i will catch you guys in the next one peace